It's here! Visit Orlando's Magical Dining Month, which somehow defies all principles of the modern Gregorian calendar by running more than five weeks, begins August 25th and runs through October 1st. More than 100 restaurants are participating this year, up from 65 in 2016, including for the first time some well-known Disney restaurants. So even with 38 days, you're not going to be able to visit them all. No, no, stop arguing. You just can't do it. Also up this year is the cost, $35, two bucks more than 2016, and they're not even paying Emerald Lagasa an endorsement fee this year. So you're going to have to do some research to narrow your decision. Here's how I go about choosing which Magical Dining Month restaurants I'll visit. Come on over. First I go to the official Magdin Mo website and look over the list of restaurants. I'm looking for newcomers, places I'm going to want to visit for a review anyway. Hey, I like saving money too. I also look for the restaurants that I know to have higher price points. I repeat, I like saving money. This year, Visit Orlando has provided a downloadable checklist. As you go through the list of restaurants, put a check mark next to the ones you want to take a closer look at. Back at the Magdin Mo website, click on the listing for one of your choices. Let's take a look at our friends at Urban Tide, for instance. You'll see the available options for each of the three courses of the Magical Dining Month menu, or Magdin Mo Moo. If nothing sounds good to you, you might as well move on, but just about everything at Urban Tide is terrific, and this is a pretty good lineup. Now let's go to the restaurant's own webpage, and Visit Orlando is nice enough to give you a direct link. And compare the rack rate a la carte prices. In this case, you'll see that the Southern Fry Grouper Cheek is a $15 appetizer, and the Scottish Loch Duarte Salmon Oscar is regularly $32. Even if you were the worst student in math class, you can see right away that those two courses total more than $35, even before dessert. Urban's desserts are on another page, and curiously, neither of the magical dining desserts are on the regular menu. But given that they're usually priced at $10, I think we can declare Urban Tide a good magical dining month bargain. Now let's take a look at Deep Blue, another seafood restaurant. Its crab cake appetizer is listed at $18 retail, and the Chapino is $45, but wait, Take a closer look at the Chapino on the Magdin Momu, no lobster, an ingredient on the regular menu. I think it's unwise for restaurants to substantially change their menus for the promotion, and I'm especially wary of those that have menus with dishes that aren't on the regular menu at all. I'm not so concerned with different portion sizes, though many of the participating restaurants serve the full portion. This is an opportunity to show customers who may not be familiar with your restaurant what you can do. If they like it, perhaps they'll return some other time and pay full price. Speaking of prices, you'll find some of the restaurants don't have prices on their online menus. I usually just move on or, in some cases, call the restaurant and ask if a current menu with prices could be emailed. One exception you might want to consider is Shark's Underwater Grill at SeaWorld. Its menu does not have prices, but get this. You don't have to buy a ticket to get into the theme park if you have a reservation at Shark's. And, following your dinner, you'll be allowed to linger in the park as long as you like until closing. I would, however, wait a while before you ride the roller coaster. Just a suggestion. Others that I'm considering this year include Urban Corant and K, also with new chefs. And Jiko, the cooking place, one of those Disney restaurants I mentioned. And Umi Japanese restaurant, which actually offers more than three courses. A couple of boilerplate notes. First, you may have to specifically request the Magical Dining Month menu if it isn't automatically offered when you're seated. Don't just go to your notes and order the Magdin Mo items from the regular menu and expect to be charged only $35. It doesn't work that way. Also, your check is going to be more than $35. That price does not include tax and beverages. Expect to pay more than $50 per person with a modest glass of wine. And finally, please don't shortchange your servers. Take the total amount of the courses from the regular menu and tip on that figure. Here are a few other restaurants for you to consider. Ocean Air Seafood Room, Tapatoro, Hemingway's, Paddlefish, Soko, Two Chefs Seafood Oyster Bar, Big Fin Seafood Kitchen, Eddie V's Prime Seafood, Nagoya Sushi, 1921 by Norman Van Aken, Chroma Modern Bar Plus Kitchen, Antonio's La Fiamma, Hamilton's Kitchen, and a land remembered. Happy Magical Dining.